Hi there, sign of Aries. Sorry, let me make sure that's straightened. Okay, so I'm using Osho Zen Tarot, and I'm going to do a reading for your second half of November. Hope you're doing really well. Let's go ahead and get these messages out to you. Asking your spirit guides and your angels to join us as the messages are for your most high. I think we'll go ahead and burn a little bit of sage here. Start off with some neutral like energy. All right. <clears throat> Messages for Aries. All right, breakthrough. You're getting the justice that you've been looking for. That is your breakthrough. Need to trust in a situation or trust in an offer. Wow. You have Ace of Pentacles crowning you. The Four of Swords is how you're feeling. Wow, there's a new investment. Page of Pentacles. There's the Devil Energy. The Eight of Pentacles Reverse with the King of Pentacles Reverse. Woo! All right. Really having a breakthrough here. Um, what is this all about? It's all about something that's centered around your pentacles and new investments. All right, so let's go ahead and get some clarity here. We'll use the Surrealist Tarot for you. Okay, the Seven of Wands is in the reverse in the past energy, and that's some... Um, Feeling a little bit stressed if you go by the guidebook of Osho Zen Tarot. So that's why these readings are a little bit different than the other tarot readings because they're guidebooks. The guidebooks are a little different. Mm, seven of Wands, but that message couldn't be clearer. That's um, used to, it's the same thing. So it's standing up for what you believe in and what you advocate for. However, it could have felt stressful. Could have felt stressful. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is about an offer or something that you're just going to have to kind of put your arms out and trust. Uh, the Six of Cups here, it's in the reverse. So it kind of reminds me of, of um, well, wanting to get together with friends or family and things like that. There is a focus on you and how you can receive better care or better, um, you know, take care of yourself a little bit better. Yeah, it's to, time to develop a strategy or a plan. So we have the six of wands in reverse is some kind of like unwanted attention or recognition uh, or not welcome recognition. So... What's that about? Let's get another card for the six of wands in the reverse and find out what that's about. The eight of pentacles, both of them. The eight of pentacles in the reverse. It has to do with work or something that just didn't work out that made you upset because that would be that king of cups energy in the reverse for the outcome with the eight of pentacles in the reverse. The challenge is... Getting recognized for all the work that you've already done might be part of this challenge or feeling appreciated. Um, the Four of Swords is your healing. It's your reflection. It is, um, it's just looking back. It's the reflection on who you are when you see things outside your window. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. Um, and I have to, okay, well, that's a good way of saying it. So through this healing that you're going through, not only will there be a new investment, but you will get to have, um, a, in a sense, a reinvention or reinvestment of self, because this is totally transforming who you are and what you do. And it makes the scales all balanced. Tell me about this new investment, and especially about that opportunity there with the um, 
Here, we'll see what these are with the Ace of Pentacles, the World, the Page of Wands. So there might be good news. There also might be... Um, the world in reverse would mean that there's something that's just ongoing. It's still the opportunity. Uh, but there is, like I said, something new. Tell me more about the new investment, please. The Three of Pentacles. Okay, the challenge is people getting along, cooperating, working together. Forgiveness is what is um, kind of needed. With the uh, judgment card, it's also kind of reminding you of, uh, it looks like Maya. So, the illusion versus the reality. Um, hoping or fearing, we have the change, death card, transformation and change. But we also have the devil energy, which has to do with the hopes and fears. It might have to do with pentacles. Or money. There is ongoing change and transformation, though. That's for sure. That Or that is assured. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles with the King of Cups. How can we get that solved? Oh, well, it just will. It will get solved. You just kind of have to trust that this um, Four of Wands energy is already here. So you just have to kind of like embrace it of course with guidance from your spirit team and your angels tell me more about the uh <laughs> eight of pentacles wanting to come out quick yeah okay so releasing any kind of um i don't know any kind of vice or attachment releasing that the sun in reverse has to do with something that is needed to be revealed And the Two of Pentacles in the reverse is about the imbalance or an imbalance of something. And, and again, usually the Two of Pentacles is, is juggling your everyday stuff in life. And just balancing and multitasking. There, This is actually good. When you see the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, you can know that, well, the, the part of the reading we're at right now would be advice. So that is that don't worry, your pentacles are definitely coming in for your rewards, will, or for your efforts, right? Yeah. And there's the page of pentacles. Again, just saying new investment, new investment, something new. The emperor in reverse. The ten of pentacles as the challenge. So it feels like it's a family situation that involves money or family business. Yeah, there's something that just has, like, again, has had has not had a completion yet. But all in all, there's good news to be had, to be shared, and all of that. So, Aries, I'm going to get you a Modern Goddess Oracle just to close out your reading. And I hope you have a great second half of your November. Join me for the next 48-hour uh, readings. Okay, Aries. All right, what do I have? Green Terra. Green Terra. What does this mean? Let's see. It means that you need to focus on your self care. It says the symbols are lotus flower and the Utpala flower, veridandrum. Um, the affirmation is I truly love and care for myself. Um, it is one of the most pre predominant deities in the Tibetan Buddhism, connected to all realms of the heart and healing. She is known for quickly easing the suffering of anyone who calls for her aid. She even supports spirits on the other side to reach enlightenment so they can become protectors. Green Tara is known as the mother of all Buddhas and is the essence of compassion and action, which includes how we act and care for ourselves. And that is that energy. So that's what I got for you. Um, sending you light and love, Aries. Thanks for liking and subscribing. It helps. I appreciate that. Bye-bye.